Okay, I'll continue here. Thus, the, okay, for Israel hath not been forsaken. This is Jeremiah 51, uh, verse 9. No, verse 5. Verse 5. And the reason Armenia is because what's taking place in uh, Iraq in our time seems to fit pretty well with this. Uh, uh, part of the Bible, at least to me. Okay, I'll continue here. For Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his God, of the Lord of hosts, though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. Yeah. In other words, yeah, there are some problems with Israel. But so, yeah. For Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his God. And Judah is the, the Aga fixes here. Yeah. Okay. Of the Lord of hosts, though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. They've got their, you know, gay pride parades and things like that. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Now, to me, this has been fulfilled already coming up here. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, which made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. The only reason why we're bothering with the Kurds, uh, with the, the, the Middle East, is because of gasoline, wine, uh, oil, which comes down to it. And th that's why we're letting the Sunni Muslims of uh, Saudi Arabia set up mosques and everything in our, in our countries because we want the gasoline. We, we're mad for the gasoline. Babylon hath been the golden cup of the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. Well, all the first world nations. Uh, the nations have drunken over wine, therefore the nations are mad. That's why we went into Iraq, because of the oil. Babylon suddenly, suddenly fallen and destroyed hell for her. Take balm for her pain, if so she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon. Now, to me, this has already been fulfilled uh, during the Gulf War. Uh, before the before the second Gulf War, uh, we were trying to heal Iraq, but Saddam kept on acting like he had weapons of mass destruction, to the point where he said, "Ah, it's not healed." So he pulled out the UN inspectors and then started bombing Iraq and got it into the position position it is now. It's like so, yeah, we would have healed Babylon, healed Iraq, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone, to his own country. The UN inspectors, they went back to their own country. Their own countries, you know. Everyone to his own country. Because the UN was made up of different people from different countries. For her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up to the, um, into the skies. Did you get that? It says, lift up to the skies. Huh? During the first Gulf War, actually the second, well, yeah, after, right after the first Gulf War, we, we partitioned Iraq into three parts. There was the southern part, and then there was the part where you didn't uh, govern, and then there was the northern part, and the southern part was the was the northern was the, was the southern sky, and the top part was the, was the northern sky where we uh, set planes to try to protect the Kurds and the Shiites. So yeah, judgment did come. It would be it, it came from the skies. So yeah, but now it's all over. You know, during the Gulf War, there were the uh, all the skies were were being uh, the the planes were coming from. Okay. Yeah. The Lord hath brought out forth out of out of our righteousness. Excuse me. The Lord hath brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord our God. Make bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord hath raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes. You know who the Medes are? To me, in our time, the Medes are the Iranians and the Kurds. Medio Persia. And their spirit is raised because Sunni Islam is now getting its upraised patootie and prostration kicked. 
in Mosul. It's a last stand, and it's raising the spirit of the Shiites, the Media Persians, and a lot of Kurds are Shiites, at least in the Iranian areas. Yeah. Babylon suddenly followed the story of Halfar and Mikta. Okay, vengeance on his temple. Yeah, okay. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It brought the arrows, gathered the shields. Yeah, the king of the Medes. For his devices against Babylon to destroy it. Because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. And again, if you're a Christian, your temple become your body becomes the temple of God. And a lot of Christians were destroyed by ISIS in um, during these past two years. Set up a standard upon the walls of Babylon. That's the defenses of Babylon. Make watch make the watch strong. Set the watchmen, prepare the ambushes. Uh, for the Lord of God hath devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. When did he speak against Babylon? In Jeremiah 15 and 51 and other parts of Old Testament here. That's kind of leaning down here. Okay. Um, oh, that the, dwell upon us, uh, dwell upon many waters, abundant in treasures. Thine end is come in the measure of thy covetousness. The Lord of hosts has sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars, and they shall shout, lift up a shout against thee. He that made the earth by his power, ha he hath established the world by his wisdom, and hath stretched out the heaven by his understanding. When he uttereth his voice, there is a multitude of waters in the heavens, and, the, and he causeth the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. That'd be the clouds, I'm thinking. He maketh lightning with rain, lightnings with rain, and bringeth forth the wind out of his treasures. Every man is brutish by his knowledge, every founder is confounded by the graven image. For his molten image is falsehood, and there is no breath in them. They are vanity, the work of errors. In the time of their visitation, they shall perish. You know who that thing that visitation was? Isis. When Isis went in there, they destroyed the idols of Babylon ancient idols. He destroyed Bel in Palmyra, the temple of Bel and everything. Destroyed those images. And at the time of their visitation, which I think is Isis, it says they shall perish. And that seems to me has been fulfilled here. Yeah. The portion of Jacob is not like them. Um... For he is the former of all things, and Israel is the root of is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee I will break in pieces the nations. And with thee I will break in pieces the chariot and his rider. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee I will break in pieces the nations. And I don't know who he's talking about. It could be talking about Israel, it could be talking about... Uh, Sunni Islam, I'm not really sure. And I will, with thee I'll destroy the kingdoms. And with thee I'll break in pieces the chariot and his rider. And to me that happens a lot when the the, Muslim, the Sunni Muslims set off a car bomb. A, 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 the first thing that's destroyed is the chariot and his rider. So they boom. I'll continue. Bye.